Good morning, Patrick Henry. Welcome to Friday Morning we Meeting, and today is January the 29th, 2021. I hope you all are well. I hope you're staying warm and having an opportunity every now and then to get outside um, and feel the weather, be in the weather, and get outside and enjoy it. Uh, first, we're going to start off this week with our VIP speech. Mr. Burke, thank you for working with our students every week. Um, and we are going now to the Pledge and the VIP. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning teachers, students, and staff. I'm Gianna Crawford, and today I will be talking about promptness. Promptness is the quality of doing something quickly and without delay, and or at the arranged time. For example, Amy always turned in her homework on time, which caused her to get straight A's. I used to have a lot of missing assignments, which caused me to find, fall behind on my grades. Now I am more motivated to do my homework and be successful. You should always have promptness so you don't make a mistake. I always have promptness because when I wake up, I always get ready for school. By being prompt, I got some positive consequences. I got to see my best friend and I earned money. But being prompt is not always about what you earn, like money. Being prompt can mean a lot to someone, like checking on your neighbor or helping someone cross the street. You never know what someone is going through, so even just waving at someone can change their day. So always be prompt to people and yourself. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Good morning, everyone. We are the fourth grade and we are representing Virginia in the fourth grade constitutional convention to tell James Madison what laws we want for our country. So starting off representing group one, Avery will be reading our letter. Okay. We need laws because the laws protect our general safety. We need to be equal because it's unfair if one race gets treated differently. We need government because they maintain law and order. Sincerely, Javea, Sydney, Avery, and Tyshawn. Now we will be hearing from group two who is represented by Malachi. Dear James Madison, we think that there should be no more violence because if there is no violence, then black people won't get hurt as much. Also, we think that black people should not be counted as three-fifths. So they should be counted as as one. And last, we think that the people should have a bigger say in the government choices. That is all of our reasons, so please consider. Thank you. Sincerely, Carmen, Zoe, Malachi, London, and Michaela. Good job, group two. Now we're going to be hearing our representatives from group three, and Ford will be reading that for us. James Madison, we believe that slaves should be equal to white men because the way you count population is wrong, and women should be counted as well. Because they are people too. And they are smarter than you think. All should be in on all. You do because they can help more than you think. And then you for think thank you for for thinking of us to put stuff in the making of the country. Beatrix for Gianna. Elijah. Sincerely, Beatrix Ford, Tiana, Elijah from fourth grade. Good job, group three, reading your letter. So now our last group, group four, is represented by Cayman, who will be reading their letter for them. Dear James Madison, we think everyone should have the right to vote, including people 10 or above, because we can choose people that we wish for. We also think money should be even evened out more because some people need it more than others. We think we should actually treat other people the same because it is very mean and unfair to treat people 
differently because of their skin color. Sincerely, Oliver Maracay, Mal I mean, Malena, Paxton, Jeremiah, and Cooper. Good job, group four. So that is the end of our presentations for our Constitutional Convention. But I can tell you with those letters, a fourth grade is ready to help our government change for the better. That was wonderful. Thank you for sharing, students. It's always great to see our students taking the lead and participating and showing what they have been learning in the classroom as well. So thank you to the teachers and students for presenting this morning. I have two coaches to present today. Uh, Ms. Yaz in uh, second grade is recognizing Juliet Goudreau because Juliet always has a positive attitude and she always tries to encourage other students. She's so much fun to be around and she is a ray of sunshine in our virtual classroom. She is always actively engaged in class with her video on and she's eager to participate and learn. Keep up the good work, Juliet. I am so proud of you. And that was from Miss Yaz. Juliet, very proud of you. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much for working so hard and for helping others. Great job. This one is from Miss Wampler, and she is recognizing Ale Armeta. And Ale's mother called uh, Miss Wampler over the weekend and said that Ale was able to read five to six sentence paragraphs without any help. He has such a curiosity for reading, and it's very exciting to see and watch grow. Thank you, Miss Wampler, for sharing that, and thank you for the great job that you do with your students each and every day. And thanks to all of our Patrick Henry faculty and staff for working so, so hard with our students. And that will conclude our Friday meeting for today. We will see you here next week. Bye-bye, everyone.